discussion with the board a little bit. Sure. Um, some of the things that we've been discussing around the board table is ha have had to do with the differences in perspective between mathematicians and mathematics educators, and of course, the area of mathematics, we all know what that body of knowledge is. It's a, it's a pure science. Um, mathematics education is really the study of how children learn mathematics and what the implications are for classroom instruction. And they're both very, very strong bodies of knowledge, have very, very good reputations and really respectable research bodies. But I thought that we, it might be interesting to look at how mathematics and mathematics education come together from the perspective of a first grader. So this will be a little bit interactive. I hope this will be enjoyable and also enlightening. You know the show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> but this is first grade. This is this first grade. So you hope we're smarter. <laughs> so I hope you'll play along with me and, and you'll find this interesting as well. Um, that quote was actually contained in this, in this volume. This is Grant Wiggins and Jay McTighe much, much, much more recent. And I thought that what we might look at, to look at how re relationships are important to give students an understanding of what they're doing, I'd like to look at the relationships between equations and sentences. And I particularly bring that up because that particularly had been asked to us by some, some parents. Why at the younger levels do we talk about sentences? and not equations when children are very young. So I thought that we might take a little bit of a look at that. And I'm going to start by asking you some questions. So the first thing is, if, if we wanted to do a literal translation into symbolic notation of this, I might call it a phrase, seven more than three, what would you write? This is the part about are you smarter than a first grader? That, what might you write? Seven, seven more than three. No, that's greater, greater than, than seven well, plus sorry. three. Mm. Seven or plus seven three. more than three, three seven. plus seven. Ah, okay, so I hear some three differences of opinion here which are actually getting right to the point. Okay, so seven more than three is, is an expression. It's not a complete thought, right? I mean, it kind of leaves you hanging, like, well, what about it? I know you want to go to the next step, but the most direct symbolic translation would be that, right? Seven more than three. You could also write three plus seven. That would be correct, right? We are comfortable with that? Oh, I can't That's a, see that. That is a, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's is my head in the way? I'm going to move up. Okay. Is that better? Can now I'm blocking you. Now you're blocking me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. We're good. <laughs> we're no, we're going to Okay. Are we okay with that? Yes. Okay. So I want you to think about what's even some of the conversation around this table. I think I heard different kinds of answers. So stay with me. And I think We'll, we'll, we'll wind up seeing how important this really is. I'm looking at this as algebra. Ah, we're looking at it as algebra. Well, I'm kind thinking of three plus what number equals seven ah. because there's something more. Ah. So, so I would not say that it was, uh, that my sentence wouldn't be seven plus three. Okay. Um, this, should we be called, should the, is this a sentence? Is this no. a complete thought? No. A okay. phrase. It's, uh, it's kind of a phrase. And algebraically, we would call this an expression as opposed to an equation. In English, we might call it, we might call it a phrase or just an expression even works um, just in English as opposed to just algebraically. Uh, well, let's complete that thought. Let's complete it and make it into a full sentence. Would anybody like to complete it and extend it and make it into a sentence? What would you like to say about seven more than three? Equals. It equals. Oh, I thought you might like to do that. Okay. My sentence would be, seven is <laughs> You're way too complicated. Than, right? Yeah, I know, it's more than uh, that. Than that than so one <laughs> more has to go in that, is four ah. and then three. <laughs> so, so I'm hearing, okay, but, but I, I, asked you, I asked you to begin with a literal translation of just this, which does not yet have an is in it, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to get where you want to go. I'm going to ask you to play with me just for a bit. Okay. So let's see. I asked, uh, there are many ways, given this as the beginning of a sentence, there are many ways we could complete it. Someone here wanted to complete it by, with the equal sign, and then I presume something after that. What would you like to put in after that? 
Ten. Okay, ten. I think we're going to end this like this game. Okay. Yeah. And I now let's now let's read what this says. This now says seven more than three is the same as is equal to ten. It's a complete thought, is it not? It's a sentence. It's a this is a complete sentence. It has a verb in it. What's the verb? Is. Equals. Is. Equals or is equal to, either way. Okay, so this is a complete sentence. It is also an equation, okay? All right. Um, there's more than one way to complete a sentence that begins with seven more than three. Would anyone like to try another way? Seven is more than no. I'm asking you, I'm asking you to play my game seven if you don't mind. And my <laughs> game three. is seven more than three. Stick with that and then seven, give me then seven. finish a sentence. I'll give you I can give you a hint. More you than like. three plus four. Seven equals oh, seven. It's greater than six plus three. Ooh, are we thinking algebraically? The seed okay. was planted by some form. Okay, so here we have a candidate <laughs> for another way to take that phrase, that expression, this part's the expression, and to make it into a complete thought. Is that a complete thought? Can you read that for me in words, anybody? Seven, seven, plus seven more than three is, three is greater, greater than, than six more than three. Okay, all right, seven plus three or seven more than three is more than six plus, plus three, three or six more than three, right? That's a complete sentence. Sentence has to have a verb in it. What was the verb in here? Is, is more than, than or word. is greater than, correct? That's now a complete thought. This, this first one is a, uh, is a sentence that happens to be an equation. This is a sentence that happens to be an inequality. They're both sentences because they have verbs in them. They differ from this, which is an expression or a phrase, and they differ importantly as children get older. I have taught high school mathematics, I've taught college level mathematics, and I will tell you that when push comes to shove and life gets difficult, college kids will want to operate on expressions. You can't operate on an expression because you would change its value. If I added five to that, I no longer have seven more than three. I have 12 more than three. I've changed it. Not allowed to change it, right? I can, however, operate on equations or inequalities because they're balanced. They're balanced by the verb, by the equal sign, or by the is more than or is less than. And then I can work on things and operate on both sides. So what I'm trying to do is to help give you a little bit of a sense of why the connection between the language and the symbols is important and why we use student-friendly language for our youngest learners and how that carries through into algebraic thinking as they get older, okay? Um, now, I promised you that we would get into the place where I think some of you wanted to go, and that's a little bit different now, okay? This is, notice the difference. This says seven, whoops, is darn. more than three. Darn. <laughs> Uh -huh. Seven is more than three, okay? Now, you notice the difference. In the first phrase, it was just simply seven more than three. It was just a thought, just an expression. Seven is more than three. You already saw it. How would I, how would I write it? Greater you all know. Than. The way I showed you, sorry. And this, as simple as it is, is, is a sentence. It's a true statement, seven is more than three. So again, this, the same idea about operating on inequalities and equations and not operating on expressions. And for our youngest learners, when we come back, I just want to go back to the quote that we started with and we look about, we look at the relationships between things, how they work, why they work the way they do. This is where the world of mathematics and the world of mathematics education comes together because mathematicians would only talk about equations and inequalities and so on. Mathematics educators know, and the body of research clearly says, that you need to make connections between those relationships, help children to verbalize so that it makes sense to them. So this, this I hope, was just a little example of what rigor looks like for a first grader. Okay. Thank you. So that's just a little. Well, that was fun. fun. Thank you. I, I, and We're going to be getting any credit for this course. Is this CPE? There you go. <laughs>